Well, there's no time for intros. This is serious. It's the playoff semi-final first leg. Let's get straight to it. Yes, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here with episode 37 of Andorra. Andorra, the double challenge in which I take charge of the club, FC Andorra, and the country of Andorra and try to lead them both along the road to glory. So today we're away in Mallorca, just a few days removed from our draw against Tarragona in the last episode, and it's the first leg of the playoff semi-final. This does clash with international fixtures, Nations League fixtures, as I mentioned in the last episode. The good news is Perez and Hernandez, our Andorran stars, are available. They were given permission to join the rest of the squad late, Wonder where they got that from. But the bad news is Crush and Vukotic, normally here in central defence and defensive midfield, respectively, have gone to join their nations, Belarus and Maced uh, Mas not Macedonia, Montenegro. So we have to bring in Justiniano, who you know is a good player, hasn't been a regular recently because Crush has been in such good form, and I've dropped Goedes in here, brought Munoz back into the team, um, we would rather have our preferred central spine, though, of course. Pointed out to the team that Mallorca are in form. They've won four of their last five, but we're in form as well. I've got faith. That seems to have motivated most of them. So let's get out there. So here we go. Promotion playoffs. Of course, we're in a nice position here because this is unexpected. If we do go up, then it's a great achievement. If we don't grow, go up, well, we, we finished fourth. As Old Lady Plays said in a comment, oh, wait a minute, here comes Munoz, he's broken through, gets a shot off. Oh, nearly an early goal there. As Lo Old Lady Plays said in a comment on, um, it would be a couple of episodes ago now, uh, that, you know, do we actually want to get promoted here? If we get promoted, it could be a complete disaster. We may be not ready, and it might be good for my young team to have another season at a lower level to develop more, and then they'll be ready to challenge. But, you know, you've just got to, you've just got to take what you can get as Russell goes close. And, you know, we started brightly. That's, that's a decent sign so far. So Hernandez with the ball now plays in Guedes, who's playing much deeper than normal. Normally we have him as an attacking midfielder charging into the box. So I did make a point of that in the pre-match briefing to tell him to hold his position to sit deep so he doesn't go charging forward. Long ball to Russell. Russell's through. It's saved by the keeper. The defender can't stop it going out for the corner. Do we get to see the corner? Yes, we do. Perez is going to whip one in, but it doesn't go anywhere. Mallorca deal with it. We've been the better team so far. Free kick for us then. It's punched forward. No one gets on the end of it, and Mallorca have the chance to counter-attack now. Andrade makes the run down the wing. These runs down the wing are uh, just, you know, way too easy, it seems. And there you go. They've scored, but no, it's been disallowed for offside. I'm assuming it wasn't Uerton himself that was offside there, but we don't even get a replay. Goalless at half time. We started as the bright team. Uh, Mallorca came back into it later in the half, though. So what do we tell them here? We tell them that mm, I'm happy with your performance so far. Keep it up. I mean, it's one of those difficult ones. It's not the best team talk. It doesn't fire them up. But I couldn't tell them I was disappointed with their performance. They might react negatively to that because they have played well so far. And now we're probably going to see Mallorca score an early goal. Uh, no, no, it goes over. Thankfully, right then Hernandez with the throw in. What's he going to do here? He gets it to Macias, but Macias can't keep the ball. Oh, they've given it away though, and Munoz has scored. Wow, Munoz back in the team after bench warming for a while. Um, back in the team in place of Vukotic, and he's scored the goal. Absolutely fantastic. Hernandez there, Macias. I thought he'd given the ball away, but terrible defending here. Terrible defending. They just give it straight to Munoz. And he just takes one touch and scores. Right, just put a Juma on for Macias. Macias wasn't having his best game, and a Juma I know works well with Munoz. So brought him in as we enter the final 10 minutes. Time for a couple more substitutions. Um, Milar's picked up a knock. That's not good. So we're going to put Cantero on. I'm leaving Perez on because he's not going to be available for the next match. He'll be away on international duty. Um, so, you know, that's why I left Cantero out for this one. We'll save one final substitute for the dying seconds. Right, we are up to that final substitute now. I'm thinking the experienced head of Benedetti. On he goes, pressing forward. 
that should help put some pressure on their defence as we come into stoppage time. And there we go. 1-0 winners. So, of course, we tell them that was a good result away from home first leg. We couldn't ask for much more than that. So, uh, let's see. We're just a few days until that game. I'm going to play the Croatia Andorra game off camera. And then we'll be back for that second leg. So, see you then. So here we go then, time for the second leg. Can we do it? We got that slender 1-0 lead from the away match. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be a tough ask. It's not going to be a walk in the park. Perez has now gone. He's with the Andorran national team. Uh, Hernandez has gone. That's why Sisse was rested in the last game. And of course, Vukotic and Crush were without them anyway. But we've still got a decent team here. All right, I told them to avoid complacency. We've got them all focused and motivated. Let's see if we can carry that onto the pitch. So we're underway, and first highlight comes with Mallorca bringing the ball out of defence. Let's see how far they get with this. A long ball over the top. We don't want to concede an early goal. Well, we escape that one. Hopefully that's you know not going to be a recurring theme. Hopefully that doesn't set the tone for this particular second leg. Okay, Macias with the chance to knock one in. Bellis with it. Go straight to Zidane, the goalkeeper. Any relation? I don't know. But it's half an hour gone. It's another Mallorca attack. Let's hope they do not get the goal. We want to get to half time with a clean sheet. And then we're going to be in a nice strong position. The ball gets knocked up to Russell. This is where he's so great. He runs past the defence. He gets his shot. But it's into the side netting. He just took it too far. Made the angle too tight for himself. But he's a threat. We've always got that threat from him. We're going to demand more. Because I feel like we should have more of a grip on this game. But of course... At this level, and when you're in the playoffs at the end of a long season, all the teams that are here are good teams. So we can't expect any easy matches at this stage. As Russell dispossesses the defender, we've seen him do this before. Can he get the goal? The keeper saves it. Okay, but we've got the corner. A chance to push a few people up. Sisse is going to take it. He whips it in towards Russell. Russell can't get his head on it, though. We've still got a chance to make something from this, but no, nope, obviously not. Okay, again, I said, don't look at the scoreboard. Don't think about the result. We've just got to get out there and do what we can. I'm going to tell Cantera that I wasn't happy with him. That's motivated him. Hopefully he'll be a bit brighter and a bit better in the second half. But we've got players who are starting to look nervous and apprehensive. That's not good. We'll keep telling them, we'll keep demanding a bit more of them. Get them focused. Get that green body language back. And here we go. Here's a chance. Here's a chance to calm those nerves. Guedes with the ball on the edge of the area. Plays it. He's playing it through that midfield trio. It's knocked out wide to Millar. Millar with the chance to do something. He's going to pull it back to Sisse. Oh, he beats his man. He gets it to Russell. Russell with the header. Just misses. Just misses. And now it's a goal kick for Mallorca. But it goes straight to Cantero. Cantero goes tearing down the wing. Gets it into Russell. Oh, wow. That all happened so fast. I thought Cantero had lost the ball. He got it back. Russell got the shot in and it was saved on the line. Oh, it's tense stuff. Right, we're looking at our first substitutions. The problem is Miller is knackered, but I can't take him off. I don't have any other wingers. The only option I would have would be to move Russell out to the wing and bring on Benedetti, which I might just do, actually. We want to have fresh legs. We want to run at them. So um, we're going to put Russell out on the right, where he can play as a random show. We've got Cantero on the left, and we're going to bring on Benedetti up front as a pressing forward to harass their defence. Any other changes that we're going to make for now? I don't think so, because no one's having an outstanding game, but they're all like 6.9s. The only one who's not a 6.9 or a 6.8 is um, Sisse, who you know we don't have a replacement for, because Hernandez is not here. Russell and Cantero obviously not having great matches, but we can't take them off. We don't have any option for that. We're going to keep it going. We're into the final few minutes now. It's still nil. Nil. Uh, a couple of late substitutions. We're going to make late substitutions. So we're going to bring Delmas on for Isaac. Then we're going to wait a few minutes until we've got the stoppage time and then bring on another substitute. But here we go. It's us with the ball. Sisse is going to pick this up. Go on, take your time. Take your time. He, put, he chose the wrong ball there. He should have played it down the wing. But anyway, we've won it back thanks to whoa, whoa, Benedetti. And it's Macias. Macias through to Cantero. And he's done it. He's done it. No, he hasn't. It's been disallowed. 
But it doesn't matter. We still get through in all that excitement. I've done this before. If you go back to my Football Manager 2018 videos, you'll see it as well. Celebrating goals that have been disallowed. But anyway, we're through. We are through to the final. The dream continues. We're in the final. Congratulations to you all. So after a super long season, there's two more games left. We play Granada now. Away first and then home. Are we going to have our Andorran players back by then? We'll have a quick look. By the way, we lost 1-0 to Croatia. Can you believe that? Only 1-0. I think we're going to be missing our Andorran players for the first leg, possibly. Or maybe we'll have Vukatic and Crush back. Let's have a look. Um, I'm sure it tells us this on the schedule page, doesn't it? Okay, on the FC Andorra team news, the only thing noted is that Banu's the goalkeeper, is still doubtful, still not fully recovered, and nothing for the second leg. So who knows, we might be full strength for those games. Obviously, the next thing for me to do is to take my national team off to play San Marino in European Championship qualifying, not Nations League. I was calling it Nations League because the Nations League's finals are going on. Excuse me. And then we'll be back for the Granada episode. So what do you think? As usual, the question I always ask at the end, what do you think we're going to do? Can we do it? Can we beat Granada, who have had two 1-1 one -one draws with in the league to date? Let me know. Please drop a like if you've enjoyed today's episode. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Dodgy Gamer. See you in the playoff final.